Welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to be doing redfish on the half shell. Um, and that's when you leave the redfish fillet with the scales intact and also keep the skin on. Um, this is the particular redfish that we caught. It had about 16 spots. So I thought that was really cool. I've never caught a redfish with that many spots. Also, the reason I'm doing redfish on half shell is because I hear from a lot of my friends that it tastes really good. And when you put it on the barbecue, it actually, uh, the skin actually turns into a very shell-like uh, structure, almost like a lobster tail. And the meat gets really white and puffy, um, and it's almost really resemblant as a lobster tail. And I hear it tastes way better on the half shell than it does as a normal filet. So I was really curious, and I decided, let's go ahead and try this out. Uh, the seasonings I'm going to be using is olive oil. Uh, we're going to use Everglades seasoning, of course. This is actually my favorite seasoning. Um, it's got salt, spices, uh, dehydrated garlic, onion, sugar, and papain. So very good one. Uh, also, we're using ground cayenne pepper and chili powder, as well as garlic. So a little bit more garlic, although the Everglades seasoning has some, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit more on. And guys, you could go ahead and check out the video where we caught this. Um, it's the upload right before this one. I'll put the link in the description to make it easier, uh, just so you guys can see exactly how I caught it. Um, and you can see it kind of go from ocean uh, to plate. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the barbecue and enjoy the video. Here we have the barbecue. A lot of people say when you're cooking fish, you need tin foil, which you 100% do. Uh, but with redfish on half shell, this is actually such a good plate structure. It's very hard. Their scales are very armored like. You don't need tin foil. You could go ahead and just put this straight on. Um, before I go ahead and put that onto the barbecue, what I want to do is grab some butter um, and we're going to butter up the sides of these, uh, of these redfish on the plate before we go ahead and throw it in. So we're going to put butter on both sides. You really don't need to put butter on the scales. I just heard from a friend that it's really good uh, to put butter on the scales because it does seep through into the filet um, and it makes for a much, much uh, cleaner taste. So we're going to go ahead and put some there. Go ahead and grab another lick of butter, put it on the actual filet itself. Now redfish is very white meat. Um, I have a video explaining how to bleed these guys and believe it or not, all you need is a thumb. Um, yes, like a thumb as in your finger, that's all you need. Right behind their pectoral fin, you just puncture it and they'll kind of bleed through their main artery and the meat will get very, very white. Um, as it is, it's white. A lot of people say you don't need to do it. I do it just in case. So there we have that. This right here is the pectoral breast of the, uh, of the redfish. So right here is basically the uh, little two prongs that come off the peck of the uh, redfish. There's a lot of meat here. I don't like leading, uh, leaving any meat to waste. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out as well. Lots of meat out of here. Just pick around the bones and get all this really white meat. Um, I'll go ahead and clean a little bit out of these veins uh, before I throw it on. So now that this redfish is all buttered up and ready to go, we're gonna head and just throw it straight onto the grill timing is everything with a uh, redfish on half shell you got to make sure that you're cooking it majority on the uh, scale side and very little on the front side so you want to let it do its work we're gonna go ahead and close this cap in a minute um, and kind of just let it uh, do its thing so we're gonna go ahead and butter up this filet and like I said you want to cook the scale side a lot more than you cook this side um, basically it's gonna get a conventional cook it's gonna go all around and get on here. And then at the end, we're gonna flip this side for about two minutes, three minutes, very quickly um, on the filet side, just to get the, the parts that we missed. Now that the filets are all buttered up and on the barbecue, we're gonna go ahead and add some seasoning. First one up is ground cayenne pepper. Um, this is complete preference. I just really do like cayenne. Um, and I like my food to be a little bit spicy and have a nice kick to it. Um, also, when you think about redfish, I come to, when, what comes to my mind is Cajun food. Cajun food is very, uh, spicy, so I feel like it's almost meant to be uh, to make your redfish a tad spicy. Also, chili powder, another preference. Just really like the way chili powder tastes. Boom, 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 not too much of that. A little bit of garlic. The Everglades seasoning has garlic in it already, but redfish does taste really well with some garlic, so we're not gonna overdo it. Just gonna put a little sprinkle of garlic here and there, um, just like that, very little. Um, and last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and add the Everglades seasoning. I know there's a huge hype around Everglades seasoning down here in Florida. Um, I've been liking this even before I saw other people using it. So this is just a really good uh, tasting seasoning with fish, uh, steak, and just about anything else. Um, but it does really taste good with anything that comes out of Florida, anywhere else as well. Now Everglades seasoning does have a very salty hint to it. So you don't wanna go too hard on the Everglades. Um, I do keep this around once I start eating just in case I want to add a little bit more, but just in case everybody else 
doesn't like it as well um, as I do, it's okay to just go a little bit light on the seasoning, uh, a, a little bit light on the Everglades seasoning um, because it is a little bit salty. Now we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil just to get the, uh, the meat nice and tender and get those seasonings to really spread across the filet, just like that. Just get it nice and moist. There you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our knife and kind of just mix this all together. Let it really marinate. And um, be careful not to really rub it all off. Just kind of pat at it. Um, and just get it like into the skin, into the filet, into the meat, just like this. Now once this olive oil settles, I'm gonna add a little bit more of each seasoning because you do have to account for the seasoning that slips out and falls to the bottom of the barbecue. Just like that, it's exactly the color I wanted as well. Now we're gonna add a little bit more chili powder, just like this, get that out. A little bit more chili powder, a tad of cayenne. There we go. This is gonna taste good. And a little bit more Everglades seasoning. Just like this. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and close this up and we're gonna wait 10 minutes uh, before we check up on it again. Right now the thermostat isn't really caught up because I've had it up for a while. Um, right around 300, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up, make sure everything's going well and then we're gonna flip it for a little bit on one side and we should be ready to go. So it's been exactly five minutes. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is flip this for just a couple seconds. Um, that's actually exactly what you want. The fin just came off just like that. I'm gonna suck on that one later. Um, but it's basically just so ready to start falling apart. Very perfect uh, taste. As you can tell, this is already getting hard like a shell. It's, it's hard to hear it, but it's very, very shell-like right now. So this is exactly what you want the skin to look like. You don't want it charred. Um, you don't want it black, you don't want it to look burnt, you want it to look very golden like this. They can still even see the spots of the redfish. Um, that's exactly what you want. Uh, we're gonna leave this, not even close the hood. I just want the uh, filet side to cook for just a couple minutes. Not even a couple minutes, probably just a minute. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this ready on the, uh, on the platter to serve it. Um, but that just tastes already great. I just took a little meat piece off that. That's amazing. Um, and I like mine really hot, so this is actually really red hot. I mean, I put a lot of chili powder and a lot of cayenne, but it, personal preference. Just to get an idea of the outcome that you want, um, right here is like a little piece of scale that's already coming off, but that's how it should be. It shouldn't be glued to the, uh, to the meat once you're done with this process. It, the scale should just come off um, very, very effortlessly, just like that. That's exactly what you want, that kind of melt in your mouth um, texture but this is exactly where we want to be at. Um, I think I'm actually ready to go ahead and grab this off. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's exactly what you want, guys. Now, if you're, cook if you're cooking this fish and the scale and the skin isn't just falling off like a bone, you did it wrong. Um, you really want that scale and the skin to just come right off uh, when you're pulling it off the barbecue or when you're eating it. Um, that's exactly what I wanted. So this is the final product here. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot of hot seasons, uh, seasonings on here, um, but just check out that, that skin. It looks like it just came out of the water, but just nice and golden crisp, um, charred in the right areas, and nice and fresh in the areas uh, that you want it to be. But look at this. You see how the skin is just ready to come off the, off the scales like that? That's exactly what you want to see. Delicious. Absolutely delicious.